This is our customer service team. All busy taking your calls. Cast. And they're very, very efficient. I'll tell you how efficient they are if you come over here. Let's go to a normal phone. Yeah? Thank you, Charlotte. So we're just going to call customer service unexpected just to see what kind of service level you get. Hi, e buyer. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Are you? Doing fine. We're just checking to see how quick you guys are. That was very quick. Excellent. Where are you? Raise your hand. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> She's over there. Great. <laughs> fantastic. See ya. Well, what do you think about um, being an 0870 number for your helpline? Well, what we think about is we get a lot of customers that call us, and you get a lot of calls that they can actually research and find themselves on the internet anyway. All the information is on our webpage. I think if a customer calls and they have a real good gripe or something didn't go well, you know, we shouldn't charge you anything, and we will reimburse you for that. But if you call because you want us to know where your order is and you don't want to track it yourself, then obviously it costs a lot to employ 30 staff to, to look after those type of calls. So we try to uh, keep the cost down as much as we can, obviously, so we can keep giving you guys the best service and get the best advices that we can. We don't want to go around hiring some customer service people that aren't up to par. We do hear some horrible stories where these calls go places where you don't understand what they're saying and obviously we want to eliminate that. We have all our own team here and they do a fantastic job. At least you can check up on them and actually yeah. see them in, in person, right? Absolutely. I want you to meet our customer service manager. Hi there. This is Karen, Laura, Kaylee, Kaylee. Haley, I'm sorry, <laughs> and uh, this is, happens to be our management team for customer service. They're just in here having a quick meeting. Do you have any questions for them? You have this uh, e-note system. Um, is that still up? It is, yeah. It's still up and running. Um, we do have customers that don't particularly like it. So we were actually discussing yesterday uh, starting a project to create an email address and customer support instead of the email system. It's not going to be uh, something that we can do overnight, but it's certainly something we're looking into because we find using email, you get more of a personal relationship, you build up that relationship with customers. So that's uh, hopefully the way forward by at uh, the end of the year we'll have uh, got rid of the email system. What about um, a, a live chat system where you could uh, chat with somebody online live but not um, on the phone? Okay. We did have that last year, at the end of last year, and we had to remove it just due to the Christmas. We put it on the wrong time of year. Christmas were always busy, so it hit us quite hard. So we removed that, but we've still got it in the background. We, uh, after we've removed the email system, you'll probably see that back on our website as well, because uh, there's a lot of customers that have actually uh, shown any interest of having that option there. So we're definitely going to be putting that back on sometime this year as well. So this is our site, and this is our customers giving us reviews on what to think about e-buyers. So as you can just read through them, they're all positive. So this is on shopping.com and yeah. read reviews on e-buyer. Scroll down. There are lots of 5 out of 5s there, but there are quite a lot which um, aren't, which uh, is pulling down your rating to 4 out of 5. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you think you're going to improve on that to make it a 5 out of 5? Well, this is something we actually um, we look into quite a lot. And what we find um, is when they haven't given us a 5 out of 5, it's when they haven't actually experienced the other part of it. So if, if they've had no need to contact customer support, they'll not rate us on it. So that's what's dragging us down a little bit. So um, And also other competitors don't put their stuff down. They don't get less than 20, which yeah. isn't fair, is it? There's a lot of competitors out there that uh, customers don't go on rate whatsoever and um, if you haven't had 20 reviews or if you haven't had any reviews in a week they'll actually mark you as 100% accurate and 100% perfect which is giving false information because that's you, no one's actually rated them to, to be 100% so, Can you like to, so to say that we're rated constantly and we're up there in the 90s I think that's a great achievement it's just we need to push a little bit harder to get to 100%
Okay. So if anyone has a uh, gripe, they just call up uh, customer service, and as we saw just now, uh, you pick it up pretty much immediately. Yeah. Um, uh, what, what if uh, that doesn't get resolved? What can they do? Okay. If the query doesn't get resolved, the, the advisors um, were instructed for first time resolution. And if they don't get resolved for um, either because it would, we have to get back in contact with them, we should get a call back straight away. But again, if they want to complain, we have a, a management structure. There's two team leaders out there as well. Hayley is one of them. We've got his complaints department, Laura, and then there's myself. So there's plenty of people to, to talk to. And then on Mondale, he posts his number all over the internet. So uh, by all means, just give us a ring and we'll sort that out. All right, and um, here's Armando's number. Ebuyer.com This is customer services again. Look at all these happy, smiley faces. <laughs> we are all happy. Uh, so this is where we put all our positive feedback. These are, um, if you get someone's estimate positive to you on a call, we'll get advisor to write it on and we'll display it. Um, we've got some letters as well, which is really nice when customers send us letters. Purely just positive feedback where we've done... Um, good job. So that's a mystery shopper as well that tried catching us out, and we did fantastic support there. Um, so we just like to keep that up, just to keep a nice positive feeling off it. That's great, and, and I see it's done in a almost smile, <laughs> <laughs> a smile with a, a middle brow, a mono brow. <laughs> what happens to customers that call us and hang out because they didn't want to wait very long? Um, Karen just been speaking about okay. that. What we do, um, Sarah's got a system which lists all calls what we've lost. Um, so we'll run a report off of that, share it out between advisors, and we'll give them all a call back. So make sure a lot of times those customers get in trouble because we'll call them back and the phone rings in an office and they'll go, yeah. who is this e-buyer? <laughs> who called e-buyer? I did. You're not supposed to be calling e-buyer in company time. You're not supposed to be shopping. Oh, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. And then we end up looking after them. But uh, it's quite funny because they don't expect you to call them back. But we did do the best we can to get every customer to call back. And sometimes we'll call at the peak time, and if, when our phone answers, it says, you're the fifth caller, you're the sixth caller, and you might not want to wait, so you hang up, and you think it's over and dusted, you'll call back later. But and what really happens is we log that, and then we can pick up the phone and call you back. Okay, so if you are calling from your company, make sure <laughs> that they can't see your number so that they don't call you back at your office. <laughs> Fly cheat.